Vicky and Sylvain Morinville have a busy home. Seven children, five grandchildren. Their daughter Lily is 14 and has a host of developmental disabilities. In the last few months, her parents have noticed she's become aggressive with the other children. She will pinch, she'll hit, she'll slap, she'll um, shove, push us. On the weekend, things came to a head and the family brought Lily here to the IWK Health Centre, a children's hospital in Halifax. But Lily was turned away. Again, deemed not a risk to herself or anyone else, and so I was told that I could take her home, or that I needed to take her home. As Morinville tried to convince her daughter to come home, Lily ran back inside and was removed by security. That's when police were called and arrested Lily for breaching the peace. I felt at that point that there was no other alternative if the hospital was not going to see what was literally in front of them. At the police station, officers kept Lily under observation. And while here, uh, officer observed behavior that caused concern that this young lady may be at a danger to herself. She was banging her head against the wall, says her mother. Officers took Lily back to the hospital. There, she was finally admitted almost 24 hours after first going to emergency. In the meantime, Lily's story ignited an intense discussion on social media, with many calling out for better mental health services. Now, the Morinvilles are speaking out in the hopes of helping other families. Keep on uh, fighting, I guess. That's, you can't be turned down just because you, somebody thinks that's just a, a four-year-old behavior pattern. The family knows their fight is not over yet. She's certainly receiving appropriate care at this point, but for her to have to have gone through what she's gone through to receive that care, it shouldn't be happening. The IWK released a statement saying it can't discuss information about specific patients, but all patients who come to emergency are seen and assessed by appropriate experts. Shana Luck, CBC News, Halifax.